Hi Sagittarius. You need to know this right now for August the 9th through August the 10th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for August the 9th through August the 10th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for August the 9th through August the 10th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Sagittarius for August the 9th through August the 10th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Sag. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Sag, these are your cards, honey. So, Sag, you have the two of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is you being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Sag, you're at a crossroads, needing to decide, needing to pick a path here. Clarify the two of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the two of wands for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. So Sag, could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. Clarify the moon for Sagittarius. The Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Sag, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here or this is an announcement being made. Sag, you can tell me that something was brought to your attention concerning a secret something you didn't know about and now you're at a crossroads trying to decide what you're going to do or where you're going to go from here sag you can tell me that you're using your intuition here on whether or not you should get someone's attention here concerning something or making an announcement you need to decide whether or not you want to do so hmm. sag i hope you don't have someone's secret that's getting your attention here or who you secretly want to get their attention, Sag. Sag, you have the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming. Something that catches you completely off guard. Something that just rocks the foundation of you guys' relationship. This is a shock in our moment. A moment of revelation. Now, this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So, Sag, very well could be a shocking surprise. Shocking revelation. Something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius. Clarify the tower for Sagittarius. The four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coin, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest. Sag, you can tell me because of some type of secret and shocking revelation 
that was brought to your attention you're closed off to this person but Sag is it your little secret that you're keeping close to your chest coming out and being brought to everyone's attention here or their attention here Sag you have the ten of wands Aries Leora Sag something is difficult something is heavy something feels like a lot of work something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders something is a burden here for you now this is a 10 so this is an ending this is you wanting to release a burden so sad you're telling me you're having a difficult time something is burdensome and you're just wanting to release it clarify the ten of wands for sagittarius clarify the ten of wands for sagittarius clarify the ten of wands for Sagittarius, it is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Sag, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment. For Sagittarius, clarify judgment. For Sagittarius, clarify judgment. For Sagittarius, the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but the star symbolizes having hope, having faith, healing, getting your wish, being divinely guided, following your destiny. So Sag, you could be getting your wish, following your destiny. You can tell me that you need to heal individually on your own or you're holding out hope and faith that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. Clarify the star for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Nine of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you being anxious, worried, stressed, replaying things over and over in your mind, losing sleep at night, worried about something. So sad, you're all up in your head, stressed, worried, anxious, can't eat, can't sleep, bothered by something here. Now, Sag, if you discovered their secret and now you're closed off trying to figure out where to go, you can tell me that this whole situation is burdensome. You're just wanting to release it. Your judgment is to release it and heal individually on your own because this thing is stressing you out. However, Sag, if you had a little secret that was exposed and came out here, Sag, you can tell me that you're burdened by the whole situation. You just want forgiveness and a second chance, hoping that you guys can heal things, mend things, work things out and reconcile. You have the Knight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into you or you're coming into someone to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. May even be coming in with a romantic gesture here. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Sagittarius. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value this is the news or message of it so sad some type of news about practicality money assets resources property accepting a gift giving a gift going out on a date or a commitment clarify the page of pentacles for sagittarius clarify the page of pentacles for sagittarius clarify the page of pentacles for sagittarius seven of cups Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing here. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there's some confusion. 
You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explore some of those other options. So, Sag, listen, you can tell me that you're all up in your head fantasizing about apologizing to this person. You know, maybe you're hoping that they apologize to you. Sag, they could also be coming in trying to apologize for having other options here. This very well could be the secret that came out. It could be you wanting to apologize because you had other options. This can be the secret that came out here, Sag. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone's apologizing and wanting to, wanting to go for, to dinner in a movie here. Or someone may be proposing something here. Sag, you have, again, again, the Six of Wands, listen. They could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here. Or this is an announcement being made. Sag, is this whole thing about some type of shocking surprise that caught you off guard? Is someone making an announcement here, Sag? And you have to come up with a decision or a judgment or a choice here, Sag? Maybe you're a little hesitant here. Hmm. Clarify the Six of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Six of Wands for Sagittarius. Clarify the Six of Wands for Sagittarius. Uh huh. Yep. Ten of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is financial success and abundance. This is where two people come together in a long-standing committed relationship, joining together their assets and resources to build something to pass down from generation to generation, creating a legacy. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, assets, resources, property, inheritance, legacy. So Sag, listen, this can be about your money, assets, resources, abundance. Very well could be that someone has commitment on the brain, but in tarot, tens are ending, so it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Sag, listen, something could have been brought to your attention concerning this abundance, your finances here, Sag, some type of shocking revelation concerning these coins here that's causing some type of confusion, but someone's apologizing here, Sag. Sag, mm. Someone could be getting your attention here or you them wanting to go into commitment. Someone could be speaking on commitment here, Sag. And maybe you're having to make a judgment. It caught you off guard, Sag. And you're needing to decide whether or not you're going to say yes or no. Sag, you could also tell me that something is being brought to your attention here. That may be causing some type of ending or a shocking shakeup and you're closed off to this person. You could have discovered that there was some type of secret. They had other options here, Sag. And you're just stressed about which way you're going to go. Whether or not you're going to heal things with this person because they're apologizing. Or whether or not you're just going to heal individually on your own and release this burden. I'm going to take a look at the twin flames exposed for you, Sag. I'm going to take two cards. This is your thoughts, feelings, or confessions. Or their thoughts, feelings, and confessions. Uh -huh. They don't turn me on like you do. I miss the passion and chemistry with you. Okay, so somebody has someone else. They don't turn me on like you do. I miss the passion and chemistry with you. Okay. new person it was a fling we weren't getting along and i made a stupid decision now she won't leave me alone with the freaking frag with the freaking frag new person it was just a fling we weren't getting along and i made a stupid decision now she won't leave me alone okay y'all got it going on i'm going to take a look at the lover's oracle for you sag i try to stay out of people business I'm just reading the cards and laying them down. Listen, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and your memories that you have shared with those you love. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love, okay? All you take is the memories and your soul. That's it. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Sag, you need to know this right now for August the 9th through August the 10th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, 
comment and share and follow me on Twitter at her immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.